What is this? Harry, could you turn on the light, please? There we go. Hey guys and gals, it's Aparna and today I'm going to show you some DIY Harry Potter room decor. So many of you guys love my DIY back to school supplies that were Harry Potter inspired. So I'm going to do some more Harry Potter stuff. So without further ado, let's get into this video. For our first DIY, we're going to create the floating candles that you see illuminating Hogwarts. First off, you'll need a paper roll and I just painted my toilet paper roll white. Next, I spread hot glue around the rim of the paper roll and then spread the hot glue downwards to create the melted wax effect. Then once the glue is dried, I simply painted it white. Next, I just fitted a tea candle into the top just to see if it would fit and then taking some thin cardboard, traced the end of the roll and cut it out. Taking the circle, I just stuffed it down the roll using my wand pencil and then this will just, you know, help the tea candle stay in place. I then created another circle and painted that white and then spray hot glue all over the outer edges of the circle so that I could glue it down to the end of the toilet roll. And now just add your tea candle and you are done. I know these aren't floating, but because I didn't have tea lights and I actually had to use candles, I ain't gonna burn candles floating in the air. But you can make them float just using clear string and you are good to go fam. For our second DIY, we're gonna create this unique Marauder's Map inspired tray to hold all your Harry Potter fandomness. For this, I took an old tray and painted it white and then just printed out the template of the Marauders map which I will link below. Then I just cut out the logo of the Marauders map and taking some double sided tape, taped it down. Next I just wrote out the names of Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs and let me know which name is your favorite and I just simply arranged them around my tray until I was satisfied. Then taking some double sided tape, I just tape them down. You can also glue them as well, but tape is just, you know, easier and I'm all about that lazy life. <laughs> then to really channel the Marauders map, I created the little tiny footprints that Harry saw on the map while he was hunting down Draco. And to add just a little fun, I wrote beneath the logo Mischief Manage because, let's be honest, who wouldn't like to sneak around and get on Snape's nerves? And now you're done! Add your wand, coasters, books, butterbeer, whatever to the tray. I think it's a nice addition to my room and I couldn't be happier. Well, actually I could be happier because the Lumo sign is definitely my most favorite DIY. So you're going to need an old box and a pane of glass. Make sure your box fits the dimension of your glass. In my case, my box was just a little too big so I cut it down to size and glued on the fourth wall of the box. Next, to make the box look pretty, I just painted it white but you can use black, blue, orange, whatever you want. Then I took some LED lights and just added them into my box. Since my lights aren't uh, battery operated, I traced around the wire and just cut out a square so I could thread the lights through and plug it into an outlet. And just a little note, I just ended up cutting a bigger square because the first was just a little too small. Next I just took some clear tape and taped down the lights so that they wouldn't move around if I moved the box. For the next step, you're going to need white tissue paper, but because I had none, I just cut out a shopping bag and then I just placed the shopping bag over the box and just glued it down. Next, just take your scissors and cut off the excess paper. I lost the footage for this, but I just glued on my glass pane on top and then printed out the Lumo sign. Taking some double-sided tape, I taped down the words and the beauty of double-sided tape is that I could fix the letters if I made any mistake or rearrange them if I didn't like it. Once you've taped down Lumos, plug in the lights and watch the magic. I love this DIY and I just think it pulls my room together. Every Potterhead needs to have this light box. If not, you don't belong in Hogwarts. Like, no, you can't come in. Snape will ward you off. 
always, always, always. Really? After all this time? Always. Alright, if you guys enjoyed that video and make sure to give this a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, guys, I started a vlog channel and by now my first vlog should be up. I'm currently in Toronto, so if you guys want to follow me on my adventures, then please do hit that subscribe button. It's going to be in the little I right here down below and in the description box. So please, I would love for you guys to join me on my adventures. It's going to be such a blast. And yeah, I hope you guys love these DIYs. Let me know which one was your favorite. And I think that's about it. I hope you guys have a grand sparkling day. And I will see you on Sunday for another DIY. Bye, guys. Sur la